Okay, so I'm running Zubuntu on the Raspberry Pi 4. I've overclocked it to uh, 2000 megahertz, uh, and I've plugged in my Google Stadia uh, controller uh, with a USB-C cable. Uh, so if I launch the internet, you'll see that I've got two browsers, uh, two Chromium browsers. The second one is the one I'm guessing for x86, which didn't work. Uh, this top one is for ARM processors, so works with the Pi. Uh, and you need to uh, sudo app-get install chromium-browser uh, and that's the one, so it's the one you'd normally get for the Pi. And you can see down here I have Stadia, uh, which is, uh, you just go to stadia.com uh, or stadia.com, I keep saying it wrong, all right. Uh, so I tried this on Raspbian and I'll show a little screenshot of it now. Uh, and it actually put a Stadia icon on the desktop uh, but when you try to launch it, it just kept saying you needed to update, update, uh, update your Chromium browser. Um, and so this, uh, I decided that Zubuntu might work because it's a 64-bit version of Linux. So if I click on this here, you can see I'm starting Samurai Showdown. And this bit is, uh, that, that is done in slow motion. Let's move the mouse pointer out of the way. Went a bit hazy. So it seems to be that the controller is, the input is very slow. Now this is why I've overclocked because I tried it on the standard clock just now and it was really too slow. So press a button. So let's see if it feels any quicker. So I'm going to press right, right, press A, press A. Yeah, it just, it's, it's definitely faster now, it's been overclocked a little bit, so press A. So, let's pick a character. So I'm going to press A now. You see that should be instant. What's interesting about this though, is it, it is working with Stadia. So I think I said it right at that time, um, on the Pi, uh, so through Linux. So if you had a more powerful Linux system, then it's possibly even going to work fine for you today. Uh, and so a lot of people are, are really giving Stadia or Stadia a hard time. I think it's really good. Uh, and the thing I really noticed from the off is that once uh, or sometime in 2020, this service will be free. So if you've got a Stadia controller, or even with a web browser and an Xbox controller, uh, you'll be able to play it for free as long as you buy the games. So you're not having to buy the system, but it just means that you've got, oh no, I didn't press A, that's why that was going slow. It's, uh, it just means that you've got access to games that you ordinarily wouldn't be able to play on certain systems. So say for instance, you've got uh, a, just an ordinary laptop or, uh, or, or a Linux computer that is fairly basic, uh, you may still be able to play some top tier games, but just not a 4K. That's what you pay for the Stadia Pro uh, subscription for, and then you get offers on games and you get a free game every month, but you need to be able to, or two free games I think it is, but you need to be able to, uh, you need to have that Stadia Pro subscription to play. Oh, this is faster. So I'm gonna press A, oh, press A, <laughs> press A now, press A now, press, so as soon as it gets that down, oh, okay, perfect, to the other, to my opponent, just try that one more time, it's actually really hard, I think I'm going to do this with Destiny because it's really hard, because it's such a fast game, uh, oh, is it that one? So, hold to exit, exit game. So let's put Destiny on. Oh, there you go, it's launching, right. So you imagine if they, if they can get this working, uh, and I can try various different versions of Linux to see if other ones are better, uh, this could mean that you could play some really high-end modern games on a Pi without any other equipment. As I say, at the moment you need a subscription, but eventually this service will be free. That's the plan. 
Uh, and it definitely, I mean, I, I was playing it on the Chromecast Ultra yesterday and it played brilliantly. You need a fast internet connection. You need, uh, well, in the UK, most people aren't, aren't capped, so uh, the data isn't a problem. Yeah. So the controller, all right, if I press right now, right, I'll press right now, 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 and I'll hover over that and I'll press A now. That wasn't as slow. Yeah, it's not going to be playable. You can see it looks, looks jittery as well. So maybe the Pi hardware isn't up to this. But if you've got a more powerful computer running Linux uh, or Windows or Mac OS, which I haven't tried yet. Right, so if I, yeah, so I, I just press, so if I press right now, press A now, <laughs> press A twice, and shoot, yeah, super slow. But, But I thought I'd try it anyway. Uh, so that is Destiny 2 running on the Raspberry Pi uh, with Google Stadia. But uh, don't judge Stadia on this. It's uh, obviously the hardware isn't isn't uh, suited for it. And also, I don't think there's any mention of Linux uh, supporting it. So I'm surprised I got this far. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.